course time. Hey Kyle, can you go load out of the cell and go out yonder or up there, wherever you're going? And you're like, yeah, I can do this. So, make fun of my beard. I tried a new look. I'm gonna read <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it like this for a few days. I just mostly did it at the top. And uh, I was home for a few days like an idiot. See how my porch lights fell? It fell on one side. But anyway, so my phone connected to my radio, messed my whole freaking video up. But anyway, so we got hooked up, tires good. Uh, done a quick like pre-trip at home on the truck. Had a tire steering hose leaking. I wish one time you could actually leave and not get dirty. But anyway, so I guess that's part of owning an old truck and doing the deal. So I'm done pre and again. We connected back to the radio. Oh yeah, guys, hold on a minute. How you turn this stupid thing around? So I got it turned around. We got our shifter knobs on. I need to like, they still hit. I'm gonna put a six inch extension down here and do the deal. But not bad for your own, uh, your own, uh, yeah, get it. Not bad for your own $200 shift kit, you know, high and lows here. And all, you know, your splitter here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all know the deal. Uh, not true twin stick for the people who's going, oh, it's not true twin stick. We well, get yeah, it. It's not the same. It looks the same. It feels the same. It's just, it's not a true twin. But, kind of hurry. Hooked up. And we got to find the motivation to, the motivation to get going, I guess. So, my little buddy. Sees everything I don't. He's constantly looking forward. Unless he falls over. Sometimes he takes naps. And sometimes he ends up on the floor. I don't understand, but let's go. Let's get it. got a teeny tiny crack. Did I get to work? <laughs> I'm joking. Oh. Rain didn't mess us up too bad. Maybe not. See my porch on now is So what's going on guys? Uh I don't know. When I got loaded, that's the last time y'all see anything. And uh, while I was loading, my inside lights decided to quit working. What a big deal, whatever. And then all the amber lights and underglow quit working. So I got loaded, I pulled off the chute, and I was rushing because, you know, it was late. I didn't get loaded until like 11 30, 12 o'clock. But anyway, so I was like going through my options and trying to figure out what it is, and I knew. <coughs> I knew it was probably the porch light because you know how I showed y'all it's failed because the wires could have rubbed or whatever, but it wasn't. So I climbed on top of the trailer like four times. Uh, wasn't that. Uh, ended up going back there. So the way I wired all of my underglow was to my tag light. 
and it's got constant power. It should work when nothing else works, just like the uh, red ring and tail lights. And I noted if I ever had it, an issue, all I'd have to do is cut them right here, and it's easy to get to, and that would eliminate what I added, right? So I wasn't tapping into a harness, to, you know, nothing like that. And so I did that, still didn't work. Lights were very dim, no nothing. Uh, half the tail lights didn't work, whatever. So I even unplugged it, plugged it back up to the truck, you know, several times. And then I got thinking, I was like, you know how you can spread those problems apart? Man, that's what it was. So I need to put a new one, like on the deck plate, because I, I mounted, don't ever mount them straight up and down like I did, because every time it rains, it just, I, I think I put three on this truck in like three years. <laughs> But yeah, that's not a very good idea. That's the reason I think people angle them with that box. So I just didn't want that box. I didn't want it kind of smoother. Whatever. So, <clears throat> we made it up here this morning <clears throat> earlier than I expected. Got unloaded. Didn't have an issue. Uh, come back down here to uh, Marlette <clears throat> and uh, got some something to eat. And I was just going to lay down for a few hours. And anyway... My phone died, so that meant no warning fuck, no phone calls, nothing. Do y'all see that? I woke up and it was getting dark, and I thought it was getting daylight again. I freaked out. I was like, oh, this ain't good. But it's still the same day, thank God, because it's getting dark. So, yeah, and this ain't staying, so don't worry. <clears throat> it was a joke, and it works. <laughs> They still lug nut covers quite often. So if you see me rolling around with two or three different kind of lug nut covers, it is because people get them. And they don't just come off on one side, okay? On the same, on, like in order. Like, that's not happening. So, uh, anyway, we got two different ones. I got a whole box at home. Like I buy them in bulk. I'm just not home. It's hot. I'm not complaining. Trust me, I'm not complaining because I hate winter. I love to be sweating and freezing. And I'm tired of snow. I dread snow already. But, yeah. Can't get a hold of Selborne. Gotta get a trailer washed out. Gotta get stuff serviced when I get home. Put my underglow back. Well, I gotta white, rewire back here because I lost all my lights the other night. That's why you don't mail them. Uh, See. Or you plug it up. That's why you don't mount them straight up and down. The water gets in. Which, you look like. I just didn't want that box, you know? I didn't want that box sitting on my deck plate where they come off. Can't really do Cali hookups because no one else I know around home or that could ever rescue me if something happens runs Cali hookups. I know you can put still running up there, but. Whatever. Maybe the next truck I do will be Cali hookups. 359 will have Cali hookups. Well, I actually be set up for both, but they will have Cali hookups. So, I guess we're going over here to Southern Selborne. Try to find another number. Try to get a hold of somebody. So I gotta go. So I gotta go here. Get 38. No, 32. And then go to the other one and get eight. So I'll be 40 head. And we'll go south. I love those in the morning. Catch y'all later.
got ran over once by a Jersey. She meant to get me. Have you ever seen a Jersey cow mean? Like a cow and a bull. A Jersey bull, yeah, duh. But like a breeder bull. But an actual cow. So another thing you ever run into with the uh, side shuffle, I would say. Uh, you get to a barn and they hardly ever the right amount of cows. So you either have way too many there or you know, not enough for them. So I was here to get eight and there's only four, so I guess we're getting four and go. Still be plenty.